this video is to help with uh, managing multiple accounts on a computer here. I've got a uh, Chrome browser open. I imagine this is possible in other browsers, but I'm only going to give a demonstration of doing this in Chrome. And on the top right here, it is a little picture or maybe a circle with a letter in it that represents your accounts you have uh, signed in to Google Chrome. I've, right now I've got mine set up to be able to switch back and forth between my school ID and a personal one I have. I'm going to show my daughter adding her account to this. So I'm going to click there and click add. And I'm going to put Grace. And Grace, pick a quick picture. You've got to pick real fast though. And then uh, click add. And now click sign in. Do your school login. Here, wait, wait. Let's copy that because it's going to ask if we get on the next screen. Same, don't keep your finger on the path at the same time as me. There you go. Put in your password. Click sign in. And click save. Uh, yeah, you can turn on sync. Press continue on this screen. And boom. Uh, you can click link data on this. <clears throat> and you click yes, I'm in on this. And now when browsing, uh, if Grace goes onto my work computer, she can um, log into sites such as Google Classroom. And uh, we don't have to like sign out of all of my Google accounts or something. So here's getting into her Google Classroom and, and the things that she would need. Uh, but say I want to get back to mine, I would just go back to my, my school account here. And even if I didn't already have stuff open, oops, shouldn't have closed the last one, but even if I didn't already have stuff open, I could just click and go onto my classroom and boom, it's just there fast because it's remembering my passwords and stuff all through that Chrome sync feature. Uh, that should help a lot of us save a lot of time in uh, the next weeks here as you might have to share devices with other users. Now, if you have a one-off moment where you know, you're not usually letting your kid use your work computer, but you need it for one specific task, you might click that and go to a guest tab. And then in the guest tab, um, you could go in and sign in to something without uh, undoing all of your personal accounts. It kind of just opens a separate window for that guest to use for that moment. I hope this advice is helpful in saving us lots of time.